bit of emergency, my sports news quickly. Um, so, obviously, I haven't done one of these in a while, so we have a lot of my sports news to go about, about football. We haven't had much news, really, about uh, different sports. Um, yeah, we do have a bit for basketball and darts, and also cricket, actually, for the last few weeks. Um, so it's not all bad, is it, really? Um, but yeah, guys, so, sorry about that here quickly. I'm just doing an emergency one. But yeah, remember, guys, this is not for real life, this is for my sports. Um, yeah, so, quickly, um, first up, there will be a, uh, I think there's a, uh, what, a guy making a, I forgot what his name is, seriously. A guy making a book, um, about my sport, about football, uh, in my sport. So, that, I think it's like a, a five-parter from 1960 up into 2021. Um... But yes, that book will be coming out, um, I don't know, probably next year. So, um, it's, they're starting writing it probably next week, I think. But they're going to do a five-parter, and all the five parts will be out at the same time next year. Uh, a different parts next year, actually, I think. But we have some dates here. Uh, they, they, didn't, they haven't announced a date yet, but they've announced a month so far. Um, so, the, the first month is... Um, so, the month first, so for, for the first book, first parts of it... Um, is apparently scheduled from Ju uh, January to March. Then the second part is scheduled to come out from April till um, July. Then it will be August to um, August to September. So that be uh, maybe come out in that month. And then October will be a guaranteed one. November will be a guaranteed one. Um, but yeah, then no further one just yet. But yeah, guys. So um, I don't know how it's going. It going mad um but yes we do have some other urgent news as well um so jose Mourinho has been appointed as portugal manager for the euros that is he'll be appointed as a manager next monday um so obviously it does start um i think it is three weeks from yesterday so on monday he's got to do some real work to to pick his squad for it for a week's time um, obviously, he'll pick his squad in a week's time, so he'll only get to know his players um, for about a week. But he does know most of them actually, so he probably should be able to pick his squad easily because he's played against them or he's either managed them or played against them. Um, but yeah, guys. So, um, but we also have so this should be massive here. But we do have some quotes quickly now from Portugal players. Um, so we have one here from CR Seven, and he has said. Um, he said, the first question was, what do you think about this appointment of, of, of Joshua Mourinho? He said, um, obviously, in, in my sports, he hasn't, really, he hasn't won that as much as he does in real life. He's only, yeah, he's only won one um, trophy, and that was with, um, I think that was with, um, oh, what was that with? Who was that with? That was with, um, I was trying to talk about my memory. Uh, it was in 2007, sorry, it's 2006, sorry. 2006, and it was with a Serie A side. I think it was Hellas Verona. I think it was. Um, yeah, I do think it was Hellas. Uh, yeah, it was. It was Hellas. It was Hellas Verona. Um, in 2006. But yeah, so he hasn't won. He hasn't won a Champions League trophy in that in that long. Obviously, we can't win one with Portugal, but they are in a group of death. They are. So he needs to pick a really good squad. But he just say. Um, oh, he said. Uh, what do you think that's pointed? Imagine he, he did answer. Christian Ronaldo answered with this. Um, he answered this answer. I think he's a really, really good manager. Um, uh, he does play some good football. Um, uh, but yeah, so yeah, so about it, guys. So he did say that he he does play a good style of football. He's really excited for him to be Portugal manager. Um, but yeah, so. Um, so that's really all we have to say about uh, about the Jose Mourinho appointments um, for today. Um, but yes, yeah, so the other one as well was Bernardo Silva. As Kamara says that, um, as Kim, sorry, guys, as Kamara said that um, he's also really excited to play. So basically, guys, all the all the players are excited to play with him. Um, play under Jose Mourinho, the Portugal players are excited. Um, but yeah, <laughs> sorry guys. Um, yeah, so I, I, if so, obviously some of the defenders he, in my sports, he does play um, a bit of a mix. He plays like defensive and attacking as well. Um, 
it's, you know, that benefits basically the whole team anyway. Um, but yeah, so um, we also have the the also have the Euros draw here quickly now. Uh, this was happened on I think it was Friday, so two days ago. Uh, well, yesterday actually, sorry, yesterday. Um, so these are this is the draw. So quickly we haven't, we haven't told about the uh, actual results have we yet? Um, of the actual, I don't know if it's like a bad camera. I don't, I don't know if it is. Um, but yeah, so we, we do have the um, quickly the Euros results from the groups here. So the, the team that came out from Group A is just two teams out of three. So basically, how it worked was twenty four teams. So uh, 24 teams went through, obviously, to the Euros. So, um, 20 of them obviously went through, but then four teams with the highest points in the third position went through. Okay, so, the two teams from Group A, I was only two teams, was Wales and Russia. Two teams from Group B was Norway and Denmark. Norway just, just edged it by a point to Scotland. Scotland don't get through. Group C, um, so there's Portugal, Netherlands, and Ireland. No shot there, really, was there. Uh, there were the three teams that went through. If the group D, three teams went through again, it three teams went through again, it was Hungary, Croatia, Germany, so Abdurjan and Slovakia don't go through. Group E, um, no surprises here, it was Romania and Belgium going through, Israel, Gibraltar, San Marino, you don't go through, they get to go out. Georgia, Cyprus, Luxembourg, Serbia, Ukraine, Bulgaria in group F, Serbia and Ukraine advance from that group. Group H, uh, three teams went through. Poland, Italy, and Iceland. Malta, Latvia, Albania do not go through. And in Group I, the group of death, Kazakhstan do not go through. Faroe Islands do not go through. France do not go through. The three teams that go through are, in fact, Armenia. Armenia, Armenia. They are going to be the shock of the tournament, I'm you now. They're going to be the massive shock on the tournament there. They are going to do amazing, I'm going to tell you now. Um, yeah, so really surprising that one there. Uh, it could be surprising for some people, obviously in real life. But yeah, so in my sports, they got they got a good player who I'll talk to about in a bit later. So Armenia, England, and Spain went through. England finished first. Armenia finished second by four points to Spain. Even a shocker it was. Group J, last group. Um, Czech Republic and Switzerland going through from that group there. Um, any surprises there, guys? Um, in right, probably for me, it'll be definitely Armenia. Um, another surprise for me, really. Well, I mean, uh, Denmark, I mean, sorry, Norway getting over Scotland. They had a really bad injury from Malachi. He's obviously did storm out of the like, training ground, but he did, he is back now, guys. Don't worry, he is back. Um, so he'll be missing. The it will miss the first. It will be missing the whole of the group stage. Um, yes. Yeah, so here now we do have the groups actually for the for the Euros. Um, we do have them here somewhere. Um, yes. Yeah, so, so sorry. Let me do it quickly now. So Group A consists of Norway, Czech Republic, Belgium, Switzerland. We could go for the favourites to go through. So the favourites, the top two favourites are Norway and Belgium. Third favourite to go through is Czech Republic. Um, so the first throw to go through is Belgian fish first, obviously. Um, so yeah, and then match it, and then sorry, uh, and Group B consists of Ireland, Wales, Hungary, and Russia. Another good group there. Favorites to go through um, first. The favorite to go first is from this is from all round of my sports news. People, you know, bet in to see who they think. Um, so they've said uh, Wales hung fish um, favorite to finish first. Hungary fish, fish, favourite fish, second. Ireland favourite fish, third. Russia favourite fish, fourth. Um, and Group C consists of Serbia, Turkey, Iceland, and Italy. Favourite to go through is first place is Turkey favourites. Second favourite fish, second is Italy. And then third favourite favourite fish, third Iceland favourite fish, fourth is Serbia. And then in Group. Um, Oh, yeah, so we have them here, and then Group D is Romania, Denmark, Ukraine, Netherlands, Fairy Fish first, is Netherlands, Fairy Fish second, is Denmark, Fairy Fish third, is Romania, Fairy Fish fourth, is Ukraine. Group E, the group of death Portugal, Spain, Armenia, England. What a group that is! That is class. That is class. Three, three countries in the same group they were. In, the, in qualifying. So, Fairy Fish first is England, Fairy Fish second, Spain, Fairy Fish third, Armenia over Portugal. 
Portugal finish finish fourth over. Oh, Amelia could be a shocking someone to say now. They can finish above Spain. Um, in Group F is Germany, Croatia, Austria, and Poland. Another great group there. First finish first is Germany. First finish second is actually Poland. First finish third. Croatia favourite fish fourth Austria. Um but yeah, should be um an amazing amazing tournament, I'd say. I'd say amazing tournament there. Um but yeah, so um yeah guys, quickly just going over now. So um obviously talking about the Euros just then and there has been massive protests going on. I think it's been for the last um few weeks few about a month about a month we've been waiting now for the for the draw. Um, but there's an outrage of a protest there was. Um, so basically, what happened is one that basically filmed it before they actually showed it on TV. So a fan um, who got paid basically to watch the game, he got paid to watch the game from UEFA, um, got paid to watch the game and basically not tell anybody, but he did tell, he did, he did pull it up on Twitter and he did tell everybody about, um, about basically they filmed it before. So then, um, he is now banned from UEFA games, but actually the good thing, the good side of it is now, is that UEFA have decided to um, have come out and said and apologise to all the fans. But that was after the protest. There was a massive protest at the UEFA headquarters. Every single one, everybody from um, all around all around Europe, you know, for the Euros, um, in outrage, and they have said that they, don't, they won't do it ever again. Um, and so they've actually paid that f that fan even more money. Um, because it's good actually, and even other other leagues have come out, even other businesses have come out, and paid him for what he's done, a good deed of telling people, you know, because that could have happened for years to come. You would obviously wouldn't have won that, do we? Um, but yeah, so that is um quite good news then. So there's a protest um about a week later when news came out. It was about a week later they all arranged it for that for a certain time outside it. And literally a day later, that's when they apologise. So it did come in a certain effect there. But yeah, so there will be the... Um, so happening, it, it will be um, two weeks from today will be the start of the World Cup qualifiers for South America, um, Africa and Asia. Um, but yeah, guys, so that should be um, quite good. So that will be the week before, so that will be two weeks from today. Uh, are we starting? And then Copa America will be starting a bit later. Uh, that will be starting um, probably about when it is the quarterfinals of of um, the Euros that we starting. And also they have the African Cup of Nations as well. Um, but yeah, so it should be fun then. But yeah, so other news as well. Quickly, um, Norwich have had a massive takeover from um, some Arab owners. So they've got a flood of money in now. And they've made a first sign. They haven't made it official yet, but they have said they've made basically a sign of public curse for thirteen million pounds, and they have come out and said that the they, public curse agent, uh, they he basically can't de uh, de uh, make deals with anyone else. He can't um, try and go to someone else. He is now a confirmed Nor Norwich player, but they'll sign him on the first day of transfer window. They've also targeted to buy Max Hofka, but Max Hofka had come out and said. This quote today has come out and said, well, it wasn't today, it was about a week ago. He said, um, I, I don't want to stay at Rotherham. I, I can see my future at Rotherham for now. I want to push my, I want to push Rotherham to as far as we can go. I can see um, us doing amazing things this year. We already, we already did amazing things for the first two games of the season. Obviously, got cancelled. But yeah, I do see my future at Rotherham for now. Um, but yeah, so... The players at Norwich have said they don't want to leave. They're basically guaranteed to go up now, basically. If they don't go up, then, uh, you know, something's weird going on there. But, yeah, um, so Newcastle are actually being... Uh, also, some other news with Newcastle as well. Um, obviously, because they have... Um, most of their players are not playing for... Basically, they're not playing for countries that are not in the Euros. Um, so, yes, yeah, so basically... Um, so like they have Lascelles, they have Kunde, they have Cam Wilson, they have other players, but not playing in their squads for the Euros for certain reasons. You know, either not getting picked or their country's not in the Euros. Um, but yeah, so they were eyeing up to get Jose Maria, but they've kept with Frank De Boer uh, now. But obviously, he is trying to be Netherlands manager. 
but uh, he's now staying at Newcastle officially for the next, for the season at least. Um, he's not a center of the contract or anything, but he's he's got his contract for the next season anyway. Um, so he, they were going to pay him to sack him to get George Marion, but he's actually stayed for now. Um, but yes, yeah, so some other news as well. Darts. Um, so basically, they're going to do one tournament per every two weekends at the um, Ali Pali um, for now. So that will be to the end of the year. Then the works from should be starting in December, obviously. But they're going to cut down. They're going to change the tournaments down to. They're going to cut down all, all the like less major tournaments. They're going to take out the Masters and some other tournaments just yet to be announced. Um, but yeah, so then uh, NBA will be starting soon as well. Um, and that's real news we have for now, guys. Um, but yeah, so we'll have some more news tomorrow. Hopefully, there'll be some news about the Euros. Um, but yeah, see you guys later. Um, thank you for watching today's My Sports News. Sorry, it's a bit of a long one. We haven't done one in a while, so I have to do catch you up for some news. But yeah, see you guys later. Peace out and goodbye. And subscribe as well.